Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and welcome to another Picture Monk Mimic video. I actually really enjoy doing these because it uh, it just you know keeps my skills sharp and it also allows me to give away a free preset every time I do this. So uh, it's pretty fun. So what we have for this episode is uh, this photo uh, and this one is actually submitted by a uh, by a listener of the podcast that I have at uh, PictureMonk.com slash podcast uh, if you did not know. Uh, and it's uh, from a listener, Michael Fredrickson. Uh, let me pull that up just to make sure. Yeah, Michael Fredrickson uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. And he actually sent this photo in. He said it's not his photo, but he found it, and he wanted to know how to make the color tones uh, in the photo uh, very similar to this. And it's um, it's kind of a, something that he's been trying to do but can't quite pull off. So, uh, to, to better assist Michael in this, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and show you guys how to make a, a photo very similar to this. So, uh, I just pulled this, uh, this stock photo here. Uh, so I try to, I try to get the, you know, I try to get a, a similar photo to, to what I'll be editing. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with it. And the first thing we need to do, obviously, is let's get it, go ahead and get the color out of the way. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do to to make sure I get some uh, some some of the color adjustments similar to the original photo is I'm just going to go down here to color and uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, saturation. Um, well, no, let's go to the H HSL panel and then we'll saturate the blues a little bit because it was more blue and I know I'm going to pull some yellow in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and increase the blue. Uh, a little bit as I can here. Uh, now I'm going to go to the color. Take the hue. Do I want to mess with the hue a little bit? Now I'm going to keep the hue at zero. Yeah. So that stay that 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 turned out pretty good from using the other one, uh, the the main adjustment. So the aqua adjustments, I definitely want to take the hue down on that one. Let me go right around there. So we already got the, the blues kind of hitting at the right spot. So now the big one is split toning. This is really going to pull out the colors in the image as, as, as much as we want to. Uh, so the highlights in the photo are, are yellow, yellowish. So they, we actually have a pre-made yellow here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that one just to see what it, uh, what it pulls in. And um, it's going to be a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to pull that there. And do saturation, keep that there. Uh, let's do shadows are going to be a little bit blue. Let's click that, see how that does. I'm going to back it down a little bit. You can see how it's kind of getting muddy here. Saturation definitely needs to go down. So that's kind of getting close. What about the balance? What can we do here? I'm going to keep it at 100 balance just to push it to one side completely right now and just see how it turns out. Uh, I might have to come back and touch on this one a little bit. So now let's do some basic editing here. I'm going to take the white balance. I'm going to warm that up. Roughly about there. Contrast, definitely take that one up. Uh, highlights, take that down a little bit. A little bit too bright right around there. Shadows bring out a little bit of shadows. Now this shadows will definitely impact uh, different photos uh, or certain photos differently. So I'm just going to kind of play with it and see how it comes out on this photo here. A little too hot. Clarity definitely take up some of the clarity. That helps with a little bit of the crunchiness in the photo. Now vibrance. I'm actually going to take that down. You can see how the yellow kind of goes away, but it also takes away a little bit of the blue, and that's kind of starting to bring back a lot of the color of, of the original image, which is really what we're going for. Now, the, the saturation is going to take down a little bit more of the yellow. So right around there, I'm liking how that one's looking. Um, let's see, what else can we do to it? Uh, it does have a little bit of a vignette on it, so I'm actually going to go into, oh, wrong one, manual here under the lens correction and put a vignette on it kinda right there yeah roughly right there 
Uh, I'm not going to sharpen it, not going to do anything like that. Um, so I think, I think from, uh, from what I'm pulling up, just the white balance a little more. I think, uh, from, from what I'm pulling up, that's pretty much a spot on, spot on clone of that original image. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, which is not in the original image, uh, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool is, uh, I'm going to actually include, um, a kind of a, a blur around the edges of the circle. I don't know why I want to do this exactly, <laughs> but I thought it would be kind of fun to to do that. So I'm going to just reset all the values here and uh, take the clarity down and take the sharpness down. So it kind of blurs out the edges a little bit. Maybe bring the sharpness up a little bit more to where it's not not you know it's not in your face, but it's a it's a little subtle. So I'll decide whether I'm going to include that in the preset. But you know, it just you saw right there, it was really quick to do. So uh, I I just thought that would be cool for for you know blurring out these definite parts, uh, the definite corner parts here, so your eye kind of goes right towards here. So uh, that was very quick. I didn't think it would be that that fast to get those colors right. But there you go. Uh, so. Like I said in the very beginning, uh, this is just to help you guys uh, try to figure out some of some of these different editing techniques uh, for these photos. So if you want to download the free preset, head on over to PictureMonk.com. The link is in the description below, and you can get the free preset here, or you can just copy exactly what I did, and you can have it. So uh, thanks again, guys, for joining me for this PictureMonk Minute video, and I will see you guys in the next one.